David. It's David out of New York. Hey, Ben, I'll try to keep it short, but I wanted to cover three points with you real quick. Go for it. Um, so I'm going to include Hillary before it, and, I, and, I, and maybe I'll get the last mention ever of Hillary on your show. <laughs> um, I think there, there, there's some silver lining that for the most part people are seeing, but for those that are missing it, a, it doesn't look like I, I highly doubt Hillary's running again in four years. So we're free of oh, Clint, yeah. uh, of the Clintons governing us. Yeah. Right? They're, they're gone. Their effect may not be. We, that, that, that's what should be of concern is, the, is Clintonism existing still. But the Clintons are no longer governing us. We can say goodbye to them because Chelsea's not in government. So, you know. And the other piece of silver lining, and I actually think this is a stronger uh, bit, is that... Although Trump may have is the one that won, he's the fact that he's won is going to is scaring the shit out of establishment, out of both parties, out of those that are in power and have been comfortable with the status quo. So it's kind of furthering the Tea Party thing, but at the same time, it does give us an opportunity if we as progressives on the left use it that they're all on guard. The, the establishment has no idea what to do at this point. <laughs> Yeah. Every time they've turned, they've lost. Yeah. No, absolutely. So they, I think that the, 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 the. No, go ahead. Finish that thought. Yeah. No, I, 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 I do think that that's one silver line. In that. Yeah. That might be bad. I lost your audio there, David, but thank you for the call. I agree. They are on the. They should be on guard, and not only on guard, they should be taken completely out of power. Nothing should be left of the Clinton machine. Nothing.